a certain case where you have vertices and their degree, whose degree, we'll say whose degree is 2 or 4. So whatever graph we're going to look at in this video, every vertice will have a degree of 2 or 4. And when this happens, then we have a circuit, an Eulerian circuit. Now, again, a circuit just means that you can start at a vertice, travel along the graph, and then come back to the original starting point without repeating an edge. So for example, right, if I have a vertice here, and then I can draw some type of graph, and put my vertices in, my, all my vertices, well, I know that this is going to have a circuit. It's going to start here, right? I can work my way around and come back to the original point. Oops, didn't line up there. Fix that. I can come back to the original point without repeating any edges. And that's what a circuit is, right? I can always come back to the point that I started from. And what do you notice? Well, the degree of every vertice in this graph is 2. So since the degree of every vertice in, in this graph is 2, we have a circuit. And the same is true um, for other cases. If we start with two vertices and we want to create a simple circuit, what does that mean? That means you have to start here, leave, and then come back again. And that's a circuit, a very simple circuit. And notice we have two vertices, each with an even degree, and that degree is 2. So what about degrees of 4? Why does that make sense? Well, we can extend this, right? If I start here, and I want to get to this vertice, and I travel here, and then back again, let's look at this. I start, go, keep going, and then I want to come back. And what do I end up creating? Well, this vertice has a degree of 2. Here, this has a degree of 4, and that has a degree of 2. And it just makes intuitive sense. I wanted to show you some pictures here to think about it, that when you create a circuit, you are creating... Um, you can create vertices with a degree of 2 or 4. You don't need to have, it doesn't work both ways, um, you can create circuits uh, which vertices with higher degrees, and that's what Euler really deals with in his theorem. right? We can keep adding to this loop, for example. So now I've created two, degree, two vertices, and each of the vertices have a degree of 4. But I can go beyond that, I don't need to stop there. Um, that's, we're not really dealing with that in this video, we're just getting started on this. But you can keep going, right? If I had another loop, now I have two vertices, and what's their degree now? Well, they each have a degree of 6. So Euler will extend this to, to help us think about all circuits where the vertices have an even degree, but here we're just getting started with the simple cases. When the vertices have a degree of 2 or 4, uh, then we do certainly have a circuit. Alright, hope that helped.